There's a problem with their nation. You patiently ask, what is it? It's a big landmass with people in it, but that's not important right now. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the analogy of the United States of America. There's a plane, right? The plane is divided into many groups. There's a left-wing aisle and a right-wing aisle. And there's a first class, which is a rich class, a business class, which is the middle class. Then there's the economy class, which is the poor class. The pilots of the airplane tell the flight attendant to tell the passengers that the plane is going to hit the side of a mountain and one group in the plane is to blame. The right wing aisle of the plane blames the left wing aisle of the plane. The left wing aisle of the plane blames the rich, which is first class. First class blames the two poorer classes, but no one blames the flight attendant who made the announcement or the two pilots flying the plane, who are with the government by the way who have orders to fly the plane into the side of the mountain. And guess who catches the blame for the plane hitting the side of the mountain? One of the random groups that are fighting, and none of those groups are to blame. And guess who has orders to control the next society and fly the plane wherever they want? That same very government. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the analogy of the United States of America.